Bless you. <laughs> oh my gosh, don't leave that in. Hey everybody. That Red Fines here. I'm Mary Beth. And I'm Laura. And Laura, what do you have here for us today? We have a great little haul here from an estate sale. An estate sale. Yes. Fun. Yeah, that's the best kind, right? Yeah, so Laura just brought this stuff over earlier today and she was unboxing it here on my table in front of me. <laughs> and oh my gosh, it's one of my favorite hauls that she's ever had. Yeah, had I known that, we would have like got that on camera. You looked like it was Christmas morning or something, tearing through all the newspaper, you're like, <gasps> <laughs> we you were, never do that. We were video messaging Michelle at Comfy Cozy <laughs> Living while we were unboxing some of it. So I'm sure she got a, a real delight, <laughs> like a real treat watching me unbox all this stuff. There's one piece, we'll probably leave it till the end, that I was sure that you would like the best. But had I known you would like it that much, I would have saved it for your Christmas present. <laughs> well, you'll have to get me something even better for yeah, Christmas that's now. that's true. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's dive right in, shall we? Let's go. Okay, so let's start off with a couple of the less valuable items. Right, and we did not price these by the piece. Um, my mom, when she goes out to estate sales, like we've said all along, she likes different things than we do. And so she sent me a message and said, hey, there's some mid-century stuff here. Would you like for me to you know, make a bid on that stuff for you? And so we just paid the one price for the whole entire table full. Cool. So we got a few things that we might not have picked up individually, but they're cute. Okay. Okay. So here's like a little shell <laughs> plate. Look at that. It's very mermaid-ish. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe our friend Michelle at Mermaid Cove would like that. <laughs> it's just so shiny and purple. It is. It's very <laughs> shiny. I like that. That's It's it's uh, not old, but I do, I do like it. It's pretty. It's cute. Mm -hmm. What do you have there, Laura? And then I've got a piece of Bennington. Okay. And, you know, we sold a couple of pieces of this in our live sale, Mary Beth. Mm-hmm. Uh, the little soap dishes that were hearts, we had disastrous results with shipping on those. So oh. I don't know, for goodness sake, I don't know what they did with those pieces. But I don't either. Our poor people, they both, the first person opened it on camera was Michelle. And she's like, oh, it's broken. Well, it's okay. I'll glue it back together. <laughs> well, bless her heart. And then... Bless their heart. I think it was Lynn Hampton that bought the other one. Maybe. And she commented under Michelle's video, it's okay, Michelle. I, I bought the same one and I'll just send you mine. And then she commented back a little while later, well, I guess I won't. <laughs> mine came in a million pieces. And I was like, oh my God. We had a really bad string of luck with our post office. Yeah. So anyway, there's a little dish here. Michelle, that might be coming your way as like a little replacement. Maybe or so. Or Lynn, either one. Maybe so. <laughs> So here's a candy dish, Mary Beth. Okay. Certainly, it's probably not your style. <laughs> it is at not, all. Actually. But look how pretty it is. It's, it's gorgeous. It's heavy. Yeah. And um, here's the thing. It's got little issues. There's a little chip there. There's chips around the edge. The nice part about it is when you put the lid back on the bowl, you can't see the damage. The, you can't see the damage. So if you like this, just to show off in a collection of your glass and everything this is what a live sale is good for we could probably sell this at a live sale mm -hmm. we wouldn't want to sell it on ebay with any kind of damage because people don't understand or can't see the damage very well but this is called this is made by westmoreland mm -hmm. it's called argonaut because it's kind of nautical but look it has these little like sea serpents at oh, the those bottom are cool. and there's a shell at the top and uh, they make blue, like the cobalt blue, but this is called blue mist. Okay. This particular like aqua-ish kind of color. And it's satin glass, feel it. Yeah. It's, I just love it. It's gorgeous. So if it, if it was in great condition, it might be worth 40 or $50, but obviously the damage will right. make that way less than that. Exactly. <laughs> it's still pretty. And then you want to see the birds? Are these parrots? <laughs> you were sitting around looking up parrots, and they're not parrots. They're cockatiels, right? They are. They're cockatiels. Yes. And we were discussing amongst ourselves here. <laughs> yeah. You said they're not a pair, and I think you're right. Yeah, Laura thought they might be a pair, and I was like, I don't think so, because they're facing the same way. I think they're just two of the same statue. Yep, I think they're just identical. I mean, of course, you can tell the painting uh, varies. 
right because you know each one's painted separately but um and then this one has a chip i think i did that mary beth oh no it's okay so it, ideally we would sell them separately probably because this one is not gonna have any damage and this one just might find a good home with somebody that doesn't mind that little chip <laughs> right and they are marked on the bottom but we can't make it out i tried to search them on google lens and i found one that looks very similar that's california pottery but I'm not sure that this is. It's just a tad bit different. Yeah. And so very mid-century though. Yeah. And um, just super cute. I love it. Very. Look, Laura, it's a couple of bowls. <laughs> Again, not your jam, is it, Mary Beth? It's not really my jam. But they're very pretty. Very pretty. They're hand-painted. Mm -hmm. And they're, you know, they usually are hand-painted. This one says RS Germany on the back. Mm-hmm. Um, and look at those pretty daffodils. This one is unmarked. I don't know if it would have had a sticker ever, but if it did, it's since come off. There so, is a little, like a 1X or X1, XI, I don't know. So you know, um, you, you do know like, usually what happens is these were done at home by housewives as like a hobby or um, it was taught like in finishing school and things like that. I didn't and know so that. so that's why you see so many of the different pieces and some just like in real life, you know, some people are better at it than others. So you see lots of different uh, qualities of paint. Jobs. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know that. Yeah. So I'm not sure. I kind of think that's what this piece is. I'm not sure. I don't think maybe this one is, but I think that's what this piece is. This one's got this little cutout right here. So it's like inclines me to hold it like <laughs> a, a artist palette. <laughs> Yeah, so I think these are beautiful. Of course, they're display pieces. What always confuses me is, I don't know why the bowls aren't prettier on the outside because you know, you put oh, stuff in a bowl. Right. So I've never been anyway. That makes That's sense. That's just me. <laughs> Look at this cute little amber vase. I knew you it would It looks pick like that a up. trophy. I feel like I've won something. I knew you would pick that up, but it probably is. You probably do call it a trophy vase. Really? Uh -huh, I was just that. kidding. No, I think, that, I think you do call them that. These are applied handles. Okay. And it's just some pretty amber glass. I have no idea what glass company or whatever would have made that. Maybe it's just art glass. You could just call it art glass in general. But it's very pretty. I knew you would like that one. I do. I like the amber glass. <laughs> Again. Next on our haul. <laughs> along the same lines here as the one before. It's, I don't know the maker mm -hmm. or anything. And I don't even know. I don't know. It's just pretty. Sometimes you just have to, the value is you know in which piece you want to add to your collection which colors you need right what your personal preference is on the shape these little folded edges i love those mm -hmm. so um but yeah I'd, i would not know the maker or anything you guys let us know in the comments if you do if you recognize this piece yeah but that'd be great i don't recognize that one okay. but it's pretty very i love that color mm -hmm. laura look at this Look at him. I did not know whether you would really like that or really hate it. I love it. I think that's just a really, uh, it's a polarizing piece. Like, I bet you my mom would like really hate that. But, <laughs> you know, I, we really kind of like it because it's just so of the era, right? Right. Isn't that pretty? Nikki said it looks like a firebird. It looks like it's on fire. Yeah. And I think when they're, when, see how it looks like a boat? It does. You know, and this, of course, the swan is on the lake like that. Yeah. And I think they call it uh, like schooning or something like that when it looks like a boat shaped like I that. I certainly don't know. And Murano made some of these, but uh, my mom calls this Arkansas glass. Okay. And I'm, I need to talk to George the next time I see George and see if he knows about this guy. But she said when my grandmother had her store in the 60s, he would come by with these in his car and he made them himself and he was from Arkansas and he would drive around on a route. So periodically would come back by my grandma's shop and she would just buy what's in the back of his car. <laughs> For real? Yeah. And so mom calls this Arkansas glass. So I'm not sure. I kind of think it's a thing around here. Oh, that's that people cool. people call it that. Yeah. That's a good story. Yeah. I love and that. I saw these on eBay and of course, you know, there's no way I won't. I can't tell if it's Murano or not, but um, by looking at it, because there's no sticker. But anyway, mom says it's Arkansas glass. Okay. And I think they're probably worth, he'd probably be worth $30 or $40, I think. Cool. 
How could we ship that? <laughs> Very carefully. Yeah. Okay, so here's Mary Beth's favorite piece. <laughs> that isn't true. <laughs> okay, you got me. This is not it. <laughs> it's at the end. But um, this one says... Okay, so this is just a cute little vase. Mm -hmm. And it's so 60s, right? Like late 50s and 60s with this uh, sponge painted gold, you know, accents on the white pottery like that. But it's what got a it? it's got a really nice sticker there. Yeah, what does the sticker say? And it says Savoy China, and that's the company, mm -hmm. hand decorated, 24 karat gold. And it's made in the USA. It's marked made in the USA on the bottom. Okay. Right? See? Is it worth its weight in gold? I don't think it is. I don't either. It's kinda heavy. <laughs> <laughs> We're leaving some of the cooler things till right now. <laughs> Here we are. I'm excited. I know. This is this is the part that excited you yes. the most. Okay. Can you grab that plate back I there? I will. Yes. Yeah, we'll start with this. Look at this. So cute. I love it so much. Let's do our test. Now, it's got several different qualities before you do your test. Okay. Look at the iridescent. It's iridescent. Yeah, I was going to say, it almost has you a know? carnival like look. So that's kind of like carnival glass ish, so you could call it that. It's definitely depression glass. It's canary, it's yellow, so it's the canary color. Okay. And it's stretch glass. So Stretch glass. You can see the marks here in the stretch glass. It's just the a way that it's made, and it's called stretch glass, and you can see it oh, in, okay. the in the texture of the glass. That's neat. Okay, and ta-da. <laughs> Yay! Mary's favorite, it glows. It's my favorite, I'm like so easily amused. <laughs> but yeah, that's like my favorite thing. All right, so it's Vaseline glass on top of all that. Nice. So it's got all those features. And I really think that these, you know, some of the uranium glass surprises me. It's not all that valuable. I don't know how. I mean, because it's, what's cooler than that? Right. But these do seem to, to be pretty valuable, the canary pieces. I couldn't really find the plate, but I'll, I'll give you a price range on a couple of the other pieces. Okay. So segueing, we have this. What is this? Some sort of bowl? Right. Well, you call that a compote. A compote. Yeah, it's just a word for like, and people call it a pedestal bowl. Okay. Or whatever. I feel like it matches this piece, does it? Because it looks very similar. It's stretched, like you said. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. It's the can canary stretch glass, depression glass. Okay. And do your test. Does it have the iridescence like the other one does? Maybe a little bit. Not as much as the plate. Yeah, not as much. All right, here we go. Yay! Definitely glows all over the place. It's a party. <laughs> <laughs> now this piece, Mary Beth, I think um, is valued, you know, at the fifty dollar range. Yay! Yeah. Very cool. There's your money back right there. I know. Nice. I love it. I know. I, I just get a kick out of you. I just, I don't know. I'm just so <laughs> easily amused. It's like my favorite thing. It's like a party trick. Okay, and there's two more of those. So these have more. These are not stretch glass. These have like the custard glass kind of rims to them. Right. And these I don't know the value of exactly. I mean, I would say that they're both valued in the $20 range at least. Okay. And um, so let's see it. <laughs> Yay, it's a party again. Definitely. Love it. I wish it so was dark in so here. It's so cool. I know, right? Fun. Yeah. I don't love that little piece. Me too. Pretty little candy dish. Those are really good. Nice. And then finally, you get to show your favorite piece. It's my favorite piece. I know. It was at the very bottom of the box. And I pulled it out and I was like, Laura, I love this. It's like a little picture. And it's just your style. And it's it's actually not the most valuable piece of uranium glass on the table. Because um, it's more in the $20 range. But I don't know why. Because I think it's adorable. But you know, value is in the eye of the beholder, so to speak. Exactly. You know, I mean, I love a lot of these things. I like a lot of carnival glass that's not super valuable. I just like the way it looks. Mm -hmm. And this is just so cool. I love the size of it. It's like not quite as big as a beer pitcher uh -huh. and it's much bigger than a creamer. Right, so it makes the, it makes the dimensions, you know, it's just so cute. <laughs> yeah. It's four quart, it's, they call that a four quart pitcher. Okay. And what does it say on the bottom? I think it's Hazel Atlas. Let's see. And it's A and J. Oh, you read it from this way. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, A and J patent applied for. 
And so when I looked it up, it's Hazel Atlas. Yeah. And so that so one. I love that. Is a party as well. And which should have been your Christmas present. Well, it's okay. I'll pretend that you got it for me for Christmas. <laughs> it's okay. We'll find you something else cool to, to go with it. Thanks, Laura. Uh-huh. So I think that was a really good haul. $45 for all of that stuff. I know. I really like it when you're pleased. Yeah. Like when you're not with me and I surprise you and you like it. You know, even though a couple of the pieces have just a tiny bit of damage, I think that's still really nice. Yeah, I think there's some really pretty pieces here. So, um... I'm glad you like it. Yeah, me too. <laughs> so guys, thank you for coming along on this little haul that Laura has surprised me with. So I was like just as surprised as you to see it. <laughs> Please comment below. We love to read and respond to your comments. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't already and stay tuned to see what Fatbird finds next. See you next time. Bye everybody.